Hey everyone! So today let's take a few minutes to talk about Ives Yang Wonyo and some of the things that have happened and how unhealthy obsessed some people are with her. This is not a hateful video towards Wonyo. Any negative comment is from Korean netizens, not from me, so please do not comment that I hate every single K-pop idol because these comments are not from me. Okay, so this is going to be probably a very long video so grab a popcorn and let's get into it. Now let's talk about how unhealthy obsessed people are with Wonyo. You will never, never catch me make 5, 6, 10 videos about Wonyo talking the same shit all over again and again and again. People who make multiple videos within a few months about Wonyo talking about the same thing are either unhealthy obsessed or are doing this only for views and money. There really is no in between of that. Not only YouTubers are unhealthy obsessed with Wonyo, but also Korean netizens. So let's move to all these kiddos Wonyo had in the last not even two months. It really do seems like Wonyoung is the new punch bag for K-pop stands and Korean netizens as there is a new scandal with Wonyoung almost every day and because of the response from her fans some believe that Wonyoung has a pretty privilege. Now let's talk first about the Eastler scandal that made K-pop stands believe Wonyoung has a strong pretty privilege. As you guys know, or maybe not, Won Young in behind the scenes of After Like music video called herself the E Slur. This schedule had many people divided as some Won Young stands defended Won Young and even said the E Slur Why defending her claiming that it is not a slur and it's okay to say this because nobody even knew about it and there is an ice cream brand called the E Slur. Just because you didn't know that this word is a slur, it doesn't make it okay to defend people when they are called out for saying this. Inuit people have been trying to spread this awareness for years. It is not a new thing, not a new slur. It's really been going on for years. And they try to spread the awareness about this word everywhere on social media. A slur is a slur. The a slur is as derogatory as the n word and many different slurs towards other groups of people. Saying that people are chronically online for calling one you out for saying this slur is disgusting. And admitting that you've been saying this the whole life isn't something to be proud of. A lot of people don't really know the meaning of the word and it's very often mistaken as an ethnic group of people and there's a lot of many different factors that have caused this. Like for example schools. The Eastler has been simply normalized even though it shouldn't be normalized. However, it only takes like 10 seconds to check it on the internet. Now, what Cable Stands did is disgusting. So many people said that this is a slur and then other Cable Stands dared to say the e slur on their TikTok or Twitter post trying to defend Won Young. Like, bro, you have just been informed that it's a slur and you repeat this? You're very much invalidating indigenous people. Won Young was rightfully called out on that one and that is the end of this conversation. Now the infamous Tweety Banks. Wonya received heavy backlash from black cable stands for calling this hairstyle a Tweety Banks and claim that Wonyo have appropriated edges. Now, if I have to be honest, I personally haven't seen anything about this, so I'm sorry if I will get something wrong. From what I've seen, Black Cable Stands hated the fact that Wonyo called her edges Tweety Banks and that it became a trend in South Korea. I've seen one guy explaining that the problem is also the name, as she's basically renaming edges as Tweety Banks. I've also seen people claiming that she claimed she invited the Tweety Banks. If you're a black cable stand, I'd love to see what you guys think about it and I believe you will do much better in explaining this than me. So let's move to another scandal now, which is Won Young's bad attitude. There were multiple times when Korean netizens called out Won Young for 
alleged bad attitude. But let's talk about the most recent one, which is the situation with Liso's shirt. On a V-Live, Wanyo, after seeing Liso's shirt, said that it looks very similar to the one she wore during a music recording. Then Wanyo asked her if she had bought the shirt herself, suddenly reaching towards Liso to check the tag for her shirt. The incident ended only after Won Young and Eugene confirmed that Lisa was not wearing the same shirt. Many Korean netizens have called Won Young out and claimed that they felt discomfort while watching this scene. Netizens left comments such as, I think this was a bit severe. Look at Lisa's facial expression. I think Won Young was just trying to advertise because she's the model for Kirsch. But did she really have to comfort the tag while they were on V-Live? Even say, did you buy it yourself? Which might make Lisa embarrassed. If I have to be honest, this whole situation was very awkward to the point I don't really know what to say. Now, this is the top most ridiculous rumors I've ever seen about Won Young that were made, obviously, by the delusional bug Sojang. According to them, they had received a tip off that the seventh debut member of IVE had been kicked out of the group allegedly because of Won Young. Apparently, IVE had to debut under the name PRISM with seven members, each representing one color of the rainbow. The rumors claimed that Yang Won Young had been jealous of the trainee that had been set up as the center position of the group. The trainee was Park Yu Bin, also known as Park Sun, who joined Starship Entertainment after her stint on idol school. Apparently Won Young was jealous because Yu Bin is the daughter of a higher up male dairies and NFB conglam for it. So Jiang went on to claim that Won Young refused to debut with Yubin and Starship Entertainment had ended up transferring Park Yubin to their acting label, which is King Kong by Starship. This rumor seemed really ridiculous even to Korean netizens who have stepped up to defend Won Young commenting, leave young Won Young alone, lol, why are you like this? Leave Yang Won Yu alone, lol, why are you like this? The whole rumor doesn't make any sense as the idea of conglomerate's daughter will be kicked out of the company for Won Young was really hard to believe. The same YouTuber have also recently tried to spread the rumor about Won Young and G Dragon dating. Yes, you heard it right. Won Young and G Dragon. The whole rumor obviously was started by So Jiang, who believes that they're dating because G Dragon used Won Young as a sticker on his Instagram story as he was thanking the brand Miu Miu for a gift. I swear the stupidity of some people sometimes really does scare me. Let's talk now about Won Young's health after weight loss. I don't know if you guys remember the beginnings of fans worrying about her health because of her weight loss. It all began with a viral TikTok video where one fan was simply worried about Won Young because she looked way too skinny that, according to them, wasn't healthy. The response was really, really mixed, with fans admitting that Won Young looks too skinny and others defending Won Young, calling it a body shaming and saying that this is actually normal. It was like that for a few months. And then there was a sudden switch where now most of the fans agree that Won Young lost a lot of weight and doesn't look healthy and began to demand from Starship Entertainment to take better care of Won Young. The concern only got worse when these pictures were posted on social media and fans began to use them whenever talking about Won Young's health. However, the truth about these photos is that they are not real. Someone simply edited them and posted them on social media. Won Young have also been accused of being manipulative. One netizen said that during their video, they were supposed to split into three groups for canoeing while other one will take a car. Won Young got the canoe team, which she apparently made it very obvious that she didn't like it. But when Liz wanted to try canoeing, Won Young grabbed onto it and asked her to switch. Then, since the teams were the same, Eugene suggested join teams again. When all of the members put their sticks for the draw, the staff came up to mix it and apparently Won Young stared at them to death and took the note of the lots and chose the one she wanted. The thing here is that Won Young clearly was aiming for the cable car team and asked to switch with Liz after Liz expressed interest in the canoe. After the redraw, 
Won Yeon took note of the lot for the cable car team and chose it. Everything happened in front of the camera and many fans have laughed at Won Young's antics. Thankfully, most of the netizens under the post have defended Won Young. If you thought that it is over of Won Young's scandals, well, no. As many Chinese netizens have recently bashed Won Young for allegedly stealing their culture after saying a phoenix hairpin is Korean. Then many Chinese netizens started claiming that Won Young is Chinese and that she has forgotten her own culture. So now there is a heated debate whether she's Chinese or not, even though I think she only has one Chinese family member and was born in South Korea. Korean netizens have also bashed Won Young for wearing a belt on a fashion show that resembled the one from previous collections and accused her of shopping secondhand. It got to the point where even the brand had to clarify that the belt is from upcoming collection. These are probably not even all scandals from the past two months and it's definitely not going to be end as Won Young will definitely get herself into another scandal because Korean netizens have chosen her as the new punch bag. So it is really just a matter of time when or what kind of scandal it's going to be. Most likely it will be something dumb. She could just breathe and they will find a reason to hate. Now moving on to the question if Won Young has pretty privilege. This shouldn't be a question because she definitely has pretty privilege. If any idol who have done the same thing, and I mean claiming edges as her idea, saying the Aesler or mocking Desis, Yao would cancel them. I usually don't give examples, but if Giselle would say the Aesler, I just know K-pop stands will bury her alive. There wouldn't be any discussion. She probably didn't know. So let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. So that is it for today. Bye!